many breast cancers um, ex have um, receptors for the hormone estrogen within the cancer and estrogen can cause breast cancers to grow and divide. Um, women before the menopause produce estrogen from their ovaries and postmenopausal women also produce some estrogen in their bodies, as do men. So hormone treatment can be used for premenopausal women, postmenopausal women and men with breast cancer when that cancer uh, contains these estrogen receptors. And our pathologists will tell us when that is the case. And around 80 to 85 percent of breast cancers uh, express that and therefore that can be used as a target. So hormone treatment is usually given as a tablet and is taken to either reduce the estrogen levels in the body or for some treatments to prevent the cancer using that estrogen to grow and divide. Hormone treatments can be used by themselves when other forms of treatment are not necessary. So, for example, when chemotherapy is felt to be an over-treatment for the breast cancer, it's often used in conjunction with chemotherapy or other treatments to uh, reduce risk of cancer recurrence. And it can be particularly useful in patients who do not need chemotherapy or who have limited fitness to undergo chemotherapy. It's also a very good treatment used uh, in conjunction with other drugs known as CDK4-6 inhibitors for patients who've developed metastatic disease and it can delay the need for chemotherapy in that setting. Hormone treatment is generally very easy to take and although it does have some side effects, they're much less severe and usually less intense than with other forms of cancer treatment. Like every treatment, hormone treatments do have some side effects. So commonly patients will tell me that they develop some menopause-like side effects and that might be sweats or hot flushes. Sometimes it can cause um, aches and pains in the bones and in the joints. Um, and that does tend to settle down over time, but some patients will tell me that they notice that. Um, most of the hormone tablets that we use can, with long term use, accelerate the normal thinning of the bones that happens with age. So for patients receiving hormone treatment alone, we re may recommend that they have a bone density scan. And one of the drugs we use called tamoxifen can slightly increase the risk of blood clots. And so we would not use that drug in a patient who had a history of previous blood clots in the leg or in the lung. Hormone treatment is only suitable for patients who have oestrogen receptor positive cancer and it's not effective on, in those patients who do not have that feature. Um, hormone treatment is probably one of the most straightforward cancer treatments to administer. So for most, most patients, we simply give a prescription of a tablet that's taken once a day. Um, it is best taken at the same time of day. But there's some flexibility with that. So, for example, a lot of my patients tell me that they prefer to take the tablet in the evening before bed, because then if they do get some hot flushes, they sleep through them overnight. Others will prefer to take them in the morning. There are no particular monitoring requirements when hormone treatments given by itself, apart from the need for bone density scans in some patients. Um, if hormone treatment is given in conjunction with other treatments, then sometimes they will need blood tests, but that is not specifically to monitor the hormone treatment. It's for the other treatments that go with it. When hormone treatment is used um, after surgery to reduce the risk of cancer recurrence, um, it's very successful in reducing uh, the rates of cancer coming back, either in the breast or in somewhere else in the body. Um, we see that the benefit for hormone treatment continues long after that treatment has been stopped. And we know now that the survival for breast cancer for women who receive hormone treatment and for men who receive hormone treatment is significantly better than for those who have not received that hormonal treatment. When used in the setting of metastatic disease, I have a number of patients who've been on the same hormone tablet for years and whose cancer has never progressed. And again, when the hormone treatment is given in conjunction with extra drugs called CDK4-6 inhibitors, we know that we can significantly delay the time until a patient requires chemotherapy for their cancer. <laughs>